We are going to be right here in physical sciences soon for the best study notes, the best material to help you prepare for the final exam. Go to allpasspapers.com. I assure you the best material that you will need in order to prepare for physical sciences. Allpasspapers.com. Well, let's solve the questions. Calculate with the reasons the size of O2. Soon as you look at O2, you realize that O2 is an angle at the center. And then we know that there's a theorem that says an angle at the center is twice that at the circumference, provided that they're subtended by the same arc. So take a look at LF. LF subtends O2. LF also subtends P of angle of size 32 degrees Celsius. So not 32 degrees Celsius, but 32 degrees. This is not chemistry okay 9.2.1 we have o2 being equals to twice angle p the reason being that angle at the center is twice the angle of the sub the circumference if they are subtended by the same chord so o2 will be 2 multiplied by 32 which is equals to 64 degrees so that is 9.2.1 let's take a look at 9.2.2 so 9.2.2, calculate with the reasons the size of angle M. So let's just erase all this. And then the only thing that we're adding is that O2 is 64. Right, now we're looking for the size of angle M. Angle M is right there. Okay, so what is the approach? We're looking for the size of angle M, but OF is the radius. And then we are told that MF is the tangent to the cycle. So this angle here must be 90 degrees because of that. The tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So in the triangle OMF, we have two known angles and one unknown. So angle M is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 64. Sum of angles on a triangle. Right, so the size of angle M, let me just press that in my calculator. 26 so m is 26 degrees so that is question 9 obviously 9.1 is proof there's really no need to do that let me know which question you want me to do next in the comment section remember for study notes that will help you prepare thoroughly for physical sciences life sciences geography go to allpasspeoples.com